Hey, Kingdom Kids, come on. It's almost time for another adventure. CC, it's story time. CC, it's story time. CC, always telling the stories. Pink hair and socks, so she's never boring. Whiteboard with the orange tie. You need a recap. Derek is your guy. Oh, what a flow so cold. Everybody get ready for adventure mode. Heather with the crew that's so disruptive. Hey, what's that? Friendly interruption. Kingdom Kids, yeah, Kingdom Kids. Kingdom Kids! Hey Kingdom Kids, and welcome back! In today's adventure, we're going to hear a story of trickery, which means there was some sneaking around going on. But before we do that, we need a recap. Take it away, Derek! Abraham told his servant to go find his son Isaac a wife, so he left and asked God, Let it be that when I ask a woman to give me a drink of water, that she would also water my camels. Let that be the sign that she is the one. When he reached the well, a beautiful woman came up to him. And when he asked for water, she also offered water to the man's camel as well. The servant took her home to his master's son, Isaac. They became husband and wife and loved each other very much. Wow, what a love story. Anyways, back to you, Cece. Aww, that is so sweet. Wait a minute, where's my true love? You know what, I'm getting tired of- We interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you this friendly interruption. Please enjoy this riddle from our wonderful Dr. Richard. Hello, Kingdom Kids, and welcome back with more riddles with Dr. Richard. Now, tell me if you can solve this one. When I'm ripe, I'm green. When you eat me, I'm red. And when you spit me out, I'm black. What am I? Hmm? I'm a watermelon! Oh! <laughs> Oh, all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> Bet you didn't get that one. Oh man, I was so close to figuring that one out. It's fine, I'll get it next time. Back to Cece. Man, that riddle was too hard. Did you get it, Kingdom Kids? Well, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for... Adventure Mode! When Isaac was old and blind, he called for his eldest son, Esau, to go out and hunt for some meat and prepare it in a stew for him, and then he would bless him before he died. His wife was listening, and when Esau left, Rebekah went to Esau's brother, Jacob. He wanted to take the blessing for himself, so Rebekah prepared some stew for Jacob to take to Isaac to eat. Esau was very hairy, so Jacob put animal fur on his arms so that he could trick his father into thinking it was Esau. When Jacob entered his father's tent, he pretended to be his older brother, but Isaac could tell he sounded different, so he told him to come closer so that he could feel his arm. When he felt how hairy his arm was, Isaac was sure it was Esau, and he blessed Jacob. When Esau came back and heard that his father was tricked and gave the blessing to Jacob, he became furious. He wanted to kill Jacob, but Jacob quickly ran away. While he was traveling, Jacob saw a well with three flocks of sheep lying near it. A woman named Rachel came with her father's sheep. Jacob started talking to her and realized that Rachel's father, Laban, was an old family friend. When Laban heard the news about Jacob, he hurried to meet him. He embraced him and gave him a place to stay. After Jacob had stayed and worked with him for a whole month, Laban said to him, tell me what your wages should be. Now Laban had two daughters. The name of the older was Leah and the name of the younger was Rachel. Leah had weak eyes, but Rachel was beautiful. Jacob was in love with Rachel and said, I'll work for you seven years in return for your younger daughter, Rachel. So Jacob served seven years to get Rachel, but they seemed like only a few days to him because of his love for her. When the seven years were over, Laban threw a wedding ceremony. But Laban tricked Jacob by giving him his oldest daughter, Leah, instead of Rachel. So Jacob said to Laban, What is this you have done to me? I served you for Rachel, didn't I? Why have you deceived me? Laban replied, It is not our custom here to give the younger daughter in marriage before the older one. Work for me for seven more years and I will give you Rachel. 
and Jacob did so. He finished the seven years and Laban gave him his daughter Rachel to be his wife. Jacob loved Rachel. When the Lord saw that Leah was not loved as much as Rachel, he blessed her with many children. Leah gave Jacob 11 children and Rachel gave him two. And Jacob had 13 children total. That night, Jacob got up and went for a walk. He saw a man there and they started to fight and wrestle until daybreak. When the man saw that he could not overpower Jacob, he touched Jacob's hip so that it was dislocated. Then the man said, let me go, for it is daybreak. But Jacob replied, I will not let you go unless you bless me. The man asked him, what is your name? Jacob, he answered. Then the man said, your name will no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have struggled with God and with humans and have overcome. When it was time for Jacob to meet his brother, Esau brought an army with him. Jacob thought that Esau was going to kill him after all these years. But when Esau saw Jacob, he embraced his brother with joy. And that's what we learned on... Adventure Mode! Though it may look like Jacob got away with tricking his father and stealing his brother's blessing, just a couple of years later, Jacob was tricked by his father-in-law. He was promised Rachel but was given Leah instead. Be careful what you do, Kingdom Kids. It may come back to you. Well, that's all the time we have for today, Kingdom Kids. I'll see you next time. Bye! I like this video. Did you? Well, like and subscribe.